Hello, older artists, and welcome to my school away from school, also known as my home. My name is Miss Strand, and I am the visual art teacher at Thurgood Marshall Elementary. Oh my goodness, teachers are missing their students so much. We can't wait to see you again. But I am really glad that you are here with us right now, connecting. I'm going to guide you through an art activity where we use shape to create art. But first, let's spend a little time thinking about art. For materials, you will need a pencil or pen and a piece of paper. You might want to use scissors, glue, and colored paper, if you have them. That's a bonus, but you don't need them. When it comes to colored paper, you can use just about anything. Magazines, newspapers, advertisements, wrappers, actual colored paper, paper bags. You can even cut open an envelope. Some of them have patterns on the inside. I know, who knew? I have a book here called The Lonely Shadow, and it is by Clay Rice. This illustrator is using a particular type of cut paper collage that's called Silhouette. Clay Rice was taught how to do Silhouette by his grandfather. It's an art form that's been around for about 250 years, and people originally used Silhouette to create portraits, which are pictures of people. One important art concept when we are doing collage, and in particular this style of collage, is positive space and negative space. So positive space is the black, and that is the object. Negative space is this white background. You'll notice in other illustrations that the artist uses color as his negative space. He continues to use black and actually some white as a part of his positive space. As we look at the illustrations in this book, let's notice how the artist uses the silhouette technique. This is the story about a shadow who is lonely because he does not know where he belongs. Early one morning, a little shadow stood under a street lamp and sighed. I am very lonely, he thought. The shadow knew that he belonged to someone. He just didn't know who. So the shadow went looking for his mate. He searched many places. And finally came to where the children were. And that's where the shadow found his boy. Together they played. And later that night, as the shadows grew long, they took to the bed as the big clock went gong. I have you, you have me. Together, we will always be. Another artist who uses silhouette in her artwork is Kara Walker. Sometimes the silhouettes that she makes are in books, and sometimes they fill up a whole wall. One of the things I appreciate most about the work of Kara Walker is that she has this way of combining beauty and strength in her art, leading the viewer to think about important subjects like identity, racism, or history. Ashley Bryan is another artist who uses collage to illustrate his children's books. His lively artwork uses color to express joy and hope. Now I will show you some ideas that you can use in your project. Then it will be your turn to make art. If what I am using is a paper and a pencil, I'm going to draw out my silhouette. Then I'm going to color it in. It works 
looks best to use the side of your pencil. If I'm drawing a person or an animal, I want to go ahead and draw the details. Most of them will end up getting filled in. But I can keep a couple of details white. I can leave my drawing black and white, or if I have materials to add color, I can make the artist's choice to do that, or keep it black and white. If I have glue, I could make a collage. I just draw out my figure on the back of my paper, and then cut it out. I will also need to choose what to use as a background. If I don't have scissors, I can always tear the paper like this or like this. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait any longer. Let's get started. <laughs> 